In the report, it talks about a parameter called systematic country diagnostic. And it says through application of systematic country diagnosis, diagnostic, the recommendation is you open up your forest for economic activity and you start making income through your forest. As this phrase systematic country diagnostic is not a uh, popular thing, I looked for what it really means to see that the things that go into make this parameter systematic country diagnostic are the inequitable tax system in this country, the un unemployment issue of lowest 40% uh, income earners and poor governance issues uh, in the country. So, through a parameter which is made based on these facts, they say the remedy for all these ills is you open your forests and start making money from those. This is a clear example of how they deceive uh, the public and authorities through, through such things. Now the question is how to move on from here, how to get over this uh, awful situation. Actually what has been created is a very complicated situation for few reasons. One is the need of the World Bank to sell this loan and its proposal. Number two the need of a cash strapped Sri Lankan government to get some money from somewhere and to pump into a failing economy. Number three, perhaps the need of some officials to have the cake and to eat it for the possible perks that could come along with that. Uh, how to move on from here? Perhaps as of now, a total cancellation of this project may not be possible. And as I said before, almost 60% of the money had already been received by the Sri Lankan government. But again, we see this money so far had been spent very haphazardly and judiciously. So what we need, I think now is first hold this project at least temporarily and make a good review first. Uh, actually, the first midterm review as for the report is supposed to be supposed to have happened somewhere in uh, October 2018. Say if it had been the case, perhaps that could, that could be used as a baseline, but perhaps that alone may not be uh, sufficient. You have a good review to identify the gaps, lapses and areas into which the money should really go and plan the project properly from there onwards for the things that should happen urgently. Number one, we need to take a, a stock of Sri Lanka's forest cover urgently because there's a very conflicting situation. One is the government continues to say that Sri Lanka's forest cover is somewhere around 30%, which has been disputed by the academics and uh, activists. Uh, who claim in reality it is somewhere around 16 percent. Number two, with regard to Singharaja, as I told you before, uh, the extent of Singharaja as of today is 11,000 hectares and 
also we hear many wrong doings within singharaja as well as uh, in its adjacent areas so this issue needs to be addressed urgently and the best way of addressing this issue would be to redemarcate singharaja which actually is a very long drawn need actually the re re cabinet recommendation for this had come in 2004 since then nothing has happened for which the blame has to be accepted by the forest department so <clears throat> this needs to be rectified very urgently the suggestions are there to include all lrc lrc is for land reform commission all lrc lands that fall within 500 meters from the present uh, boundaries of singharaja to be incorporated into it plus to annex all the secondary forest cover that are found close to it and uh, the estimate is thereby the singharaja forest cover would extend to at least 20000 hectares so this again is another very important thing to happen soon and thereafter to proclaim this uh entire area as a reservation number 3 to address the situation of over visitation which is happening with regard to uh nature parks and uh, nature reserves in sri lanka even in this report it is identified that yala bundala udavalave min area singharaja to be places which are experience in over visitation so it is very urgently needed for us to know and calculate a optimum maximum carrying capacity for a day for the forest reserves of, of this country we thought of producing this series in english language also for our friends abroad to know what's going on in sri lanka with regard to deforestation and also uh, about the projects such as scamp which is being carried out through world bank loans uh, we assume that more and more people will come to know about these things and also would support us in our attempt to reverse this unsavory situation which is happening in our country